Hey folks, it's Antara and I'm back with an embarrassingly old battle. This is against Golden Link 40 and we had this battle back in like February. Um, anyway, the first thing you might notice when you see his team versus my team is that while my team, everyone's OU, his team, everyone's either UU or below. And so you're thinking, well, what the heck's going on there? You know, I'm such a big person about tears and everything, but I, he wanted to do this. He um, had this team of lower tier pokes, and he said that he wanted to use them against uh, an OU team. So I was like, okay, go for it. Anyway, I lead off with my Aerodactyl. He leads off with Toxic Croak. I'm going to go ahead and set up Stealth Rock. Um, you know, Toxic Croaks sometimes run things like Ice Punch. I think he can run Ice Punch. But anyway, instead he goes for the, the Substitute. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's interesting. Um, don't know what I should think about that. But um, anyway, uh, I've got a Focus Sash, and so I'm not really concerned about anything that he's going to do. Uh, it turns out this is a Sub Punch set. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break his sub, but he's going to get off a Focus Punch, um, which is regularly effective against me. Um, but Aerodactyl is pretty frail, so um, it's really not surprising at all that this Focus Punch, bam, gets me down to my Focus Sash. Um, but so now, I mean, every uh, Toxic Croak runs Sucker Punch. So, you know, the Sucker Punch is coming, but then again, he might over predict and go for a uh, substitute, so what am I going to do? Am I going to switch out? No, I go for the third option, I go for Roost, um, regain my health, and now I'm pretty sure that the Sucker Punch is not going to take me out, considering it's not Stab or anything, and um, so he goes for the Sucker Punch this next turn, and I'm pretty sure I can survive, and indeed I do, with just a little sliver of HP, but it's all good. I go for the Earthquake, and I should have no problem at all taking out that Toxic Croak. So, um, one zip me, woo woo, uh, this battle is starting out quite well. I can't remember anymore whether this is the team that I'd seen before of his. Um, basically we tried battling before and we had a disconnect, and I can't remember if it was, um, using these two teams or whether it was using my other teams. Um, Oh well, I don't know. Um, but anyway, I go ahead and swap out here and go ahead and set up my uh, Sandstorm, send out my Quants. Um, his I'm Pretty goes for the obvious fake out. Uh, obvious fake out is obvious. Um, does really nothing to my Tyranitar. Um, so, nice little switch there. He goes ahead and pulls back. Um, again, pretty obvious. Um, he goes ahead and sends out his Muck. Um, Predict, uh, predicting the switch, not necessarily into Muck, but I predicted the switch and then gone ahead and gone for Dragon Dance. I'm pretty sure this is the battle that I, I'd had with him before, and I think he was winning um, because he was sweeping me with his Muck. I'm pretty sure this is a Cursing Muck, um, and it had just started sweeping my team, and I just couldn't kill it. Anyway, I go for the Stone Edge. Um, it hits. Boom. It gets a crit, and I take him out. Um, now you're like, oh man, that crit totally mattered. Well, maybe, maybe not. If you're running 252 HP, 252 defense, um, then yeah, sure, it, it mattered. Um, but for most muck sets, uh, the Oko was pretty much guaranteed thanks to the fact that I have that life orb. Anyway, his Torkoal yawns me after my um, Stone Edge misses. Uh, you know, that's the perils of using Stone Edge, I guess. Um, and he goes ahead and protect, protects on the other turn, or on the next turn, um, just to stall me out and put me to sleep. So yeah, Stone Edge, um, doesn't connect because he's protecting himself, and I fall asleep. So in anyway, he's gonna go ahead and call back his, um, his Torkoal. Obviously, he can't really do much against me. He goes ahead and sends in his Krabby, <laughs> um, excellent name for a uh, uh, crowd down. Um, I just couldn't remember what it was called during the battle when I was trying to look up uh, calculations and such. So anyway, I call back my Quants, and I go ahead and send in my Celebi. Now, I know this thing's part dark type, but I'm predicting here that he can't one-hit KO me because it's a physically defensive Celebi, um, and it's pretty much impossible to kill. Um, yeah, so anyway, I get some leftovers recovery, blah, 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 and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Seed Bomb because, um, Crowdon does not have the best of defenses, it actually has piss poor, pardon my language, uh, HP, and indeed I survived with basically no HP, although that did a lot more than I thought it would, um, thanks to that plus one Dragon Dance. Anyway, uh, Seed Bomb is enough to take out that Crowdon, and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Fantastic for me. Um, next up for my opponent is Lopany, and I'm not sure here uh, what he's going to do. Um, 
I'm gonna go ahead, yes, Lopini goes for their turn, I'm like, okay, well, I'm sacrificing my Celebi, but look at this, Celebi's freaking survives with, like, 2 HP, and it's just completely amazing. I get off the heal bell so that Tyranitar is now awake, um, which is totally awesome. Sandstorm is going to take out my Celebi, but Celebi did exactly what it was supposed to do. And that thing, and look at how little return did. I mean, granted, it's a Lopini, but still, I mean, that's kind of amazing. Now, it could actually be that um, he screwed up the happiness on Lopini. That might be the what happened there. Um, but if not, that's pretty awesome. Um, so anyway, next up for me is Metagross. Um, yeah, Uchikoma should be able to tank this guy. Um, except for, um, use a switcheroo to, you know, hey, if you've got a Lopini, you've got to be using, um, I mean, Klutz has got to be one of the worst abilities ever, but if you've got switcheroo, uh, you can actually make some use out of it. Um, I go ahead and use Hammer Arm, that is going to be an easy KO for me. Um, Lopini goes down. Yeah, I mean, tears exist for a reason, and yeah, you can be really creative, and with some gimmicks you can... Um, you know, face off against OUs and do all right, um, but it's, you know, this has kind of been a one-sided battle so far. Um, I've got the burn, I've got the burn now, and so he's probably thinking, oh, well, I can just, you know, he can't do anything to me, he's a Metagross physical attacker, uh, what's he gonna do? Um, so I get faked out on this turn, uh, it happens. Um, he goes ahead and pulls back his Perugly and sends out, uh, his Torkoal, um, figuring I can't really do anything to him, um, but uh, unfortunately for him, this is a mixed set, I've got the Psychic, and boom, down goes his Torkoal, and um, he's down to his last Pokemon now. So yeah, bye bye Torkoal. Torkoal's a really cool Pokemon, I really wish it had better stats, um, I don't know. Anyway, uh, Perugly is back out. Um, it's just racking up that Stealth Rock damage. Uh, so he goes ahead and goes for the Fake Out, just to get a one more turn of burn damage on, on me. But then again, it's also one more turn of uh, Sandstorm against him. Uh, so yeah, the Sandstorm rages. Not going to do anything to me, but it's going to get him below half. Um, and I'm thinking, well, that was kind of silly. Um, but then I see, oh, he's got the Citrus Berry, so that actually was a really good play for him, uh, stalling me out until he could recover back some more HP. So the question is, do I go for Hammer Arm or Psychic here? I decide I'm going to go for Psychic. I think I do the Calx and see that it'll do more damage. Um, his Perugly goes for the Sucker Punch. It's not going to do too much. It's going to get me down you know, to about third, but um, doesn't really do too much. And Uchikoma goes ahead and uses Psychic which is an easy KO. Oh, no it's not, no it's not, he survived the sliver of HP, but the Sandstorm is going to polish him off, and that is the game. So, Golden Link 40, uh, great battle. Um, you should check out, my, uh, folks in the audience, you should check out uh, my other battle that I had against Golden Link 40, where we both used OU teams. There was a little bit more balance. Anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. Uh, take it easy, folks.